And good morning to you. We welcome you into First Take. I'm Prim Saripapat sitting in for Carrie Champion. Well, clearly we got the two big dogs in the house today, Skip Bayless and Stephen A. Smith joining us from New York City. Happy TGIF. Do you guys have any plans for the weekend, Stephen A.? Work. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Always work. Skip, are you? By the way, he, he's a much bigger dog than I am. <laughs> I don't know Actually, about that. Actually, that might be true. Oh, uh, look at that. All right. So coming up on today's show, Tom Thibodeau is out as head coach of the Chicago Bulls. What went wrong? We will dis discuss that in just a moment. And we'll also get the fellas' thoughts on the Cavs-Warriors finals matchup. First take will be in the Bay for, for game one in less than a week. But first, we begin with the Vikings running back Adrian Peterson, who fired off 11 tweets yesterday venting about how NFL players should get the same kind of fully guaranteed contracts athletes get in other sports. Now we only have so much time so here's one of his tweets. I know hundreds of players that wish their team would have honored the contract but instead got through to the side like trash. Now Peterson whose deal runs through 2017 is skipping the team's OTAs made it clear in his tweets that he is bothered that there is no guaranteed money left in the contract. So the qu question that we pose, do you guys have any sympathy for AP? Skip. Stephen A. Smith, I have zero sympathy, but allow me to amend that. I should say I have a speck of sympathy for Adrian only and only if there's some method to this Twitter rant madness and he's trying to talk or act his way out of Minnesota and into my Dallas Cowboys backfield. However, I do not think that's any longer the case. As we know, a couple days back, Vikings coach Mike Zimmer drew a line in the sand and said he's either going to play for us, Adrian Peterson, or he's going to play for nobody. So to me, Stephen A., this Twitter rant comes off as astonishingly naive from a 30-year-old high collision running back who as we all painfully are aware is coming off a highly publicized highly controversial incident involving his young son that did put his football team in a fairly difficult position so welcome to the nfl adrian peterson yes you are right contracts remain a one-way street because if i might flash back to the summer of 2011 your union caved in once again on various deal points and one of those deal points by the way was they weren't even pushing for guaranteed contracts at that point and they still caved in on just about all the other deal points adrian is scheduled to make 12.75 million next year and then 15 the next year 16 the next year none of it guaranteed I remind you, Stephen A., Jerry Jones just decided or opted not to pay, what's that guy's name? DeMarco Murray. I'm trying to erase him from my memory now that he's a Philadelphia Eagle. Jerry said, nope, I'm not going to pay what the Eagles or anybody else is offering on the open market. And DeMarco is just now 27 years of age. Obviously, Adrian Peterson, as I said, high collision running back. He's played eight NFL years. You could reduce it to seven because he only played a game last year. But as we well know, once you pass 30, the odds of you giving your team back $12.75 million worth of productivity are marginal at best. Now, this guy's freakish. We know that. I would love to have him for just one year in Dallas. But again, should should the Vikings maybe guarantee next year just as a sign of you know sort of a show of faith to try to keep him happy, keep him from making waves? Maybe so. But in the end, Adrian, yeah, guess what? You're right. Management still has all the advantage here. And good luck. Skip Bayless, I appreciate your position. And let me say to you that I 1,000% agree with every word that you just uttered and then some. I have zero sympathy for Adrian Peterson, but unlike you, I'm not willing to give him the benefit of the doubt because to be quite honest with you, I'm entirely too disgusted to do so. Uh, to say that he is naive uh, doesn't even begin to explain or highlight his ignorance. Uh, the fact of the matter is, is that Adrian Peterson knew what contract he signed. If I remember correctly, Skip, that $86 million deal that he signed, which was $36 million in guaranteed, which included a $12 million signing bonus, 
Skip Bayless, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that was signed in the aftermath of the collective bargaining agreement reached between the league and its players association. So he was fully aware he was. of the rules. He was fully aware of the contract that he was signing. And if I recall correctly, he signed it with a absolute, positively big, fat smile on his face. But now that you've reached the non-guaranteed phase of the contract, all of a sudden you want to raise holy hell? That's just not wise. But again, that is not where my disgust comes in because I completely agree with Adrian Peterson in terms of its validity. We have both lamented on many, many occasions the state of affairs as it exists with player contracts in the National Football League and how they should always go for their money because one play could end their career and it won't cost the team a penny, but it'll cost them everything because of that non-guaranteed status. We understand that the Players Association could do a better job of negotiating during collective bargaining time, but that's entirely separate and apart from my disgust with Adrian Peterson. You were arrested and had to endure a situation because of child abuse. You took a switch and slashed the body of your four-year-old son. So much so that it wasn't even just marks on the back and the arm and the thighs. There were literally marks on his testicles. And you're going to sit up here, despite having to do that, because the Minnesota Vikings didn't have anything to do with that. The National Football League didn't have anything to do with that. That was all on Adrian Peterson, his personal life away from football, affecting football. And despite getting paid about approximately $11.75 million, you were scheduled to get paid that. You were put on a commissioner's exempt list. You ultimately ended up playing one game and still you got your money. You got millions of dollars when you take the suspension into consideration. I think it amounted to about $2 million. It cost them. Adrian Peterson got over $8 million last year for playing one game. I don't recall him saying, here, Minnesota, here's your money back. You know, I didn't play. I didn't earn the money because I put myself in this situation, got myself arrested, got in trouble with the law, needed to hire a high powered attorney and Rusty Harden to get me out of this mess, et cetera, et cetera. He didn't offer to give that money back. So we understand what this is about. And what disgusts me about Adrian Peterson is that, you know, Skip, as well as I do, that anything he does in a belligerent or cantankerous fashion to bring attention to himself is ultimately going to provoke thoughts and then dialogue about child abuse and some of his other issues. Remember, while after he had gotten arrested, when he was supposed to be going on trial, remember he failed the marijuana test. I mean, he, he had tested yep. positive for marijuana. Remember that? Yep. that we, 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 he, could, he couldn't even stay off the weed, okay, it, during that time when it was clearly not legal for you to do that. So all of this stuff is going to be brought up. And now here we are on national television. I'm going to be on national radio late on today. Everybody all over the country is talking about Adrian Peterson. And inevitably, instead of talking about the very thing he's talking about, which is football, you're going to talk about all the other stuff because last year you didn't play because of this other stuff, which makes it relevant. You don't play any games but one game you pocket over eight million dollars but now you're talking about how you deserve to be paid you're essentially wanting a raise adrian peterson looks like a damn fool today he looks stupid he looks ignorant and more importantly he looks completely unappreciative of the position that he is in playing in the national football league that's how he looks right now because he has elected to bring this up at this time. If none of this happens, Skip, then we're simply saying he makes a valid point, but the system's a system. And that's the end of the conversation. The fact that you bring this up now is what makes him look so awful. He doesn't look like he should. It, there's no, by the way, there's been no remorse. There appears to be no remorse, Skip. No. Nope. I think it's fair to say that. Agreed. It's just embarrassing. Okay. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. I'm also with everything you just said, but in fairness to Adrian, let us bring up the issues that he's brought up, his agent has brought up, that during this controversy, he felt like some members of the Vikings front office 
sold him out, did not have his back, told him one thing to his face, and then sort of stabbed him in the back behind the scenes with the Vikings. Okay, whatever. But would you, if you're the Vikings now, because this could be a potentially explosive situation for them going into a year in which they start to feel pretty good with Teddy Bridgewater and Mike Wallace is back, blah, blah, blah. They could be pretty good. Would, would you go ahead and guarantee at least part of the contract, which may be what he's angling for here, just to keep him from making comments or making waves down Are the you line? Ready? Or, or the last quick point is, at the, the smallest injury, would he exaggerate it going forward and just say, ah, I can't play next week? Is that, what, is that the Adrian Peterson you're going to get now? Well, I would hope not because then he'll ruin his career. And he won't have a future at all because when you're devoid of integrity, everything, everything falls with you. I mean, you have to have professional integrity. You have to come to work every day when you're collecting a check. That's number one. But Skip, to answer your question, your first question yep. directly, my answer is this. Hell no. I wouldn't guarantee a cent. Now, in the crevices of my mind, because I'm class personified and I'm an owner, I would tell you, based on his greatness and his years of service to this franchise, I would give him his money no matter what. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't tell him. Go out there and earn it. You signed this contract. You knew this was the non-guaranteed portion. You could have spread it out. You could have spread out your signing bonus. You could have made sure some guaranteed dollars was coming in 2015, 2016, 2017. You wanted to take it all up front as much as you possibly could. Good. You did that. We gave you your money. When you couldn't play 15 games last year, we gave you your money. Yep. And by the way, in the crevices of my mind, I know because of your greatness, I'm going to give you your money this year. But what you will not do is yap off on Twitter and beyond thinking that you're going to bully me into doing something that you want me to do after the year you put us through last year. Who the hell do you think you are? You must be on drugs. I'm not I'm not doing anything. I'm not guaranteeing you anything. Be a be a normal person again and show up to work and earn your money. That's what you're supposed to do because I never asked you to play for free. All these years you were rushing for a thousand plus yards. Every single year you got paid. This man has pocketed over $71 million in his career. What are we talking about here? It's nothing to talk about. You've been paid. You haven't been playing for free. I'm not capitulating or acquiescing one bit. And the fact that he has opened his mouth with his juvenile self acting this way is really disgusting. I'm very disgusted with him because I, I, I met him a couple of times. He seems cool. I know he's the greatest running back in football. I'm not saying he's a bad person. But he comes across as one. This is the way he's making himself look. You embarrassed yourself, man. You embarrassed your family. You embarrassed the Vikings organization. You em embarrassed sponsors and advertisers who helped you. I'm not even saying he's wrong, Skip, because the points that he made is right. Yep. As a player, yep. I'm saying it ain't his place to make them after what you did last year. You did, it's disgraceful. And everybody trying to trying to help you out and let you get back to playing football and you're going to pull this? Oh, hell no. He ain't getting a dime. Nothing. Well, Nothing until he step out on that I'll field. I'll sum this up by saying I also know him personally. I like him a lot off the field. But yeah. he looks bad today. I'm with you. He looks horrible. Yeah. And I'm disgusted that he's made himself look this way. All right. We'll see what happens between the two sides. Damn it. The deal 